Hi there, this is Åsa with a new layout. Today I'm sharing a process video of me making a layout from a sketch. This is something that I don't do very often, but I think that I should. This sketch is from Basic Grey and Susan Stringfellow and I found it in the Victoria Marie Facebook group uh, for a challenge uh, about a week ago. And I wanted to participate and I thought the sketch uh, suited these three photos of me and my kids in the woods behind our house and we were building um, a playhouse <laughs> or, uh, by, from the, the wood that we could find on the ground. So lots of sticks and, uh, and branches that had uh, fallen and uh, we uh, placed them uh, by the, the cliffs so that the kids got a little playhouse. It was a lot of fun and uh, it was something nice to do while being outdoors. The sketch has a large uh, round element and I have chosen a couple of uh, brown and uh, neutral uh, papers from my 6x6 collection and uh, I'm still very pleased that I sorted uh, the 6x6 papers by color and uh, they are so much easier to use now uh, as I can just pull out the colors uh, that uh, are uh, that I'm looking for and uh, easily find the papers that will uh, fit with my project. I am making the longer elements on the page now and um, using a newspaper print that was really uh, subtle and uh, uh, I think it will look good in the background. Since uh, I made this layout I've decided to use sketches more just to get away from always doing the same kind of layouts and uh, therefore I went to Pinterest and Pinterest is just one of these perfect and uh, just addictive resources on the net where you can uh, pin and uh, save all, couple, all links and uh, photos and pictures from, from internet that you want to remember and you can sort them in your own boards. So I, I have been on Pinterest for a couple of years now, but I haven't been using it for a long time. And uh, now I'm, <laughs> I'm there several times every day and, and I'm really uh, m putting uh, together a nice collection of uh, layouts and uh, uh, sketches to have as um, inspiration for my future scrapbooking. If you want to follow me on Pinterest, uh, my uh, name there is uh, just my, my real name, but without the ring above my first A. So it's A-S-A-M-A-L-M -A -A uh, on Pinterest. So just go look for me there and, and follow the words that you uh, like. Since you all know that I'm saving up for a Silhouette Carmeo, uh, I have also started collecting lots of uh, free printables and free cut files there and also a lot of um, pictures that I'd like to have as um, inspiration for the cut files that I plan to be making myself. So uh, that's also something that I can recommend if you are uh, in the beginning of your uh, silhouette uh, cutting career as well. <laughs> As one of the longer elements on this uh, layout, I'll have a piece of uh, glitter tape. It's brown glitter and uh, I, I think it was a really good purchase when I made it. It's, it's something that you can use on almost any type of layout and it's glitter but it's very um, not that <laughs> in your face glittery. It's like uh, uh, a sparkly effect but not too much. It, it doesn't give 
uh, a lot of glamour to the page or uh, and lots of girliness it's just um, a little sparkle a very um, a subtle sparkle I'm inking the edges of all the different papers and I'm using my f felt applicator tool from Ranger. I think that's originally made for alcohol inks, but I, it works fine for me because uh, I, I haven't used anything else, so I don't know the, about the difference. So I'm, I'm just uh, putting my uh, distress ink uh, or my uh, re-inkers for my uh, color box uh, pad uh, onto that uh, felt and, and it works uh, just fine for me. Here is the sketch again and you can see that I have built the background clusters with the larger papers and uh, now I'm placing the photos so that I can go on with the embellishing. If you by any chance hear uh, sounds of uh, uh, war, struggle, fighting and uh, other kinds of distress. Uh, don't be alarmed because it's my son uh, playing uh, computer games just by my side here. So uh, please don't uh, call uh, 911 or the police on me. Bec we are all in perfect health and uh, actually enjoying ourselves quite a bit. I am uh, placing down some of the elements that I have chosen in my little jar there and uh, these white uh, die cuts come from uh, We Are Memory Keepers die set that I bought a couple of months ago. I really really love it and uh, I will be making lots of those words when I get my silhouette cameo. When I first bought the set uh, one of the dice were missing and the I uh, just um, emailed uh, We Are Memory Keepers and uh, they sent me a complete new set. I, th I thought that was just wonderful customer service and I was really impressed. I expected to get the, the one missing die but they sent the whole package. I had a journaling card with a little bird and a speech bubble. The speech bubble I've already cut out and placed it to the left of the photo of myself and now I'm cutting out the bird and I'll place it onto the layout as well. I have also stamped on cork and uh, I cut those out uh, for some more uh, neutral uh, and uh, wood-like embellishing on this page. That uh, compass uh, in the lower right corner is from an old uh, Heidi Swap uh, paper. It's really really old. It's just um, <laughs> from the beginning of my scrapbooking and uh, I have had it in my stash for such a long time and now I think I've used the paper. This was a die cut that came uh, in the branding strip w which was oversized and uh, I, I just wanted to use it. It's got the right color and uh, it's just a uh, general uh, symbol so nothing uh, that will stand out as, as uh, strange on this page. I pulled out also from Heidi Swap a couple of uh, shipboard uh, alphas and I will spell um, koja which is the Swedish word for uh, the kind of uh, uh, play uh, nest or house that you build uh, as a kid. It's also used for hot and uh, but but in uh, it's got a completely different meaning there at least in Swedish. So uh, this is the kind of uh, uh, hut that you play uh, play in and they, you build just for the day. Those are grey uh, shipboard from the start. So I will color them to be a bit more uh, blue. First, I paint it with the broken china. Uh, which is uh, really blue and then I give it another coat with the evergreen bow which is more uh, green color and it will blend uh, pretty well with both the bird and the background and uh, just um, the nature around us there with the, the cliffs and uh, also a bit with the sky even though it looks really white <laughs> when I see it like this now I start gluing down all the photos and the embellishments and uh, 
I don't think that I make any major changes. I just uh, slide the photos a bit upwards and uh, that's uh, to, to give more room for the embellishments at the bottom. I mentioned, um, mentioned Pinterest before and uh, there I've also made a board with my shopping uh, it's my shopping list and uh, no I don't th really think it's my list it's my wish list and I I won't possibly be able to buy everything on that list because it's really long already but it's been a bit of a therapy for me to just save all the pretty things that I find uh, now when I'm not uh, buying anything and I, I really hate being on a spending freeze, but I think I need to punish myself a bit because I, I, I think that the purchase of that silhouette machine is, is a, a really large one. So I, I need to cut back a bit and uh, just to, to feel that I have uh, really uh, earned it <laughs> or at least uh, saved up for it. Uh, it's it's a really a large um, a purchase uh, on just one uh, machine uh, since it's just for fun <laughs> as well so uh, I hope that I will be able to to stay away from shopping for for uh, another month and then hopefully I won't buy everything on that shopping list so uh, I it would it it would uh, counter <laughs> the whole the purpose of of having a, a spending freeze so uh, the list is a, a way of keeping uh, my eye on all those things that I, I find uh, just super lovely at the moment so if you're interested in in what I'm uh, drooling over you can have a look at that as well it's a shopping list of 2015 it says in on Pinterest I will write down the link for my Pinterest page in the description box if you want to have a look. Now I've glued uh, pretty much everything down and uh, it, the whole layout's on the diagonal so the left corner will be the left lower corner will be left alone and uh, empty. The white uh, die cut words um, made a really a big contrast to, to the rest of the page. I needed to add something that was also white, so I die cut with my border punch uh, a strip uh, in the same white shade uh, to place beside the lower photo. The journaling card uh, where I've d I'd cut out the bird and the speech bubble had some white and blue border, and I cut away the red border and placed the blue and white in a couple of different places, places on my layout just to add to the layering and it also frames the page pretty well. Uh, now I come back with the green evergreen bow color and uh, just dab some on my uh, alphas so that the color fits the background and the bird a bit better. And uh, this is when the video ends and uh, here you see the finished layout with a couple of bows and some journaling and the title in place. And I think I sticked really uh, true to the sketch. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and come back soon please and take care. This is Osa, bye!